Hey y'all, it's Nikki coming at you with a new video. I baited these wee fun foods for over an hour. Yes, you heard correctly. This was an over an hour bait with these foods. So grab your popcorn and get comfortable and just come along for the ride. Just let you know throughout this video, I played with them by having them to speak up into the phone just to mess with them. And also, even though I was using my phone to download any desk, Ultra Reviewer, and Supremo, they never caught on at all. So most of this bait was us just trying to connect to my phone, which they never did. There is also some 11.7s and some 11.6s in here. So shout out to Loose Doghouse for coming up with that 11T. It's been great. And these scammers fall for it every time. Hope you enjoy. And I will talk to you on the next one. Peace out. Gotcha. What, ma'am? Yes, I'm here. I was hello? talking about the refund. Yeah, hello, hi, thank you. Yeah, we are talking about your subscription, firewall subscription. If you want to cancel the subscription. Okay, why, why we'll I'm getting a refund, though? Why, why I'm getting a refund? Can you explain that to me? Because you paid for that. You paid $299 two years back, right? That's the reason if you want to cancel the subscription, we'll refund back the money which you paid, okay? Okay, well, I thought it was just a one-time fee. I had services from y'all in the past, and the technician told me of just a one-time charge. I had an incident that happened to my computer before, and they only charged me once. You're telling me it was a subscription. How did it become a subscription? Yeah. It's a firewall protection, madam, that you subscribed two years back, remember? Well, he told me of just a one-time charge. He said I only had to pay it one time. No, no, it's not a one-time charge. After two years, you have to renew the subscription again. That's the reason we call you to remind you that today is the auto renewal day of the subscription, right? Well, and damn, that's the reason he we didn't call tell me. If he had told me, I would have known about it. He didn't tell me that, ma'am. So what do you want to do right now? What do you want to do? You want to cancel the subscription or you want to continue this? Well, obviously I want to cancel because he told me it was a one-time charge. He didn't tell me okay, it was a recurring charge. If you want charge. to, okay, let me speak, madam. If you want to cancel the subscription, so you have to fill up a cancellation form. Cancellation form. Okay. How do I fill up the cancellation form? How do I do that? But Okay, because when you subscribe to us, you do it through your computer, okay? Right now you said that you have to, you want to cancel it, right? Yeah, I want to cancel it. So you have to do it, okay, so you have to do it through your computer. And for that, you need to turn on your computer and we'll send you the cancellation form. And we'll verify the person, then we'll refund back the money which you paid. That is $299, okay? Okay, I'm already at my computer. That's how I check my voicemail. Dad, you, have, you are in front of your Mac computer? I said, I'm in front of my computer. That is how I check my voicemail. I'm already in front of my computer, okay. ma'am. Okay, you are, your computer is turned on? Yes, ma'am. It's already on. What can you see in your computer, on your computer screen, madam? All my icons. I'm at my desktop. Hello. Okay, what icons you see on your computer screen? Hello. You want me to go through all me? of my icons? Do you know how many programs no, I got no, installed no. on my computer, ma'am? I got a lot of programs okay. installed. So I can go through them one at a time if you want me to, but it's going to take more than an hour. Okay, just wait a moment, okay? I'm transferring my call to my senior technician, okay? Okay. Who will guide you better than me? Okay. Do okay. not mind my silence. Pleasure to talking with you. Okay. Wait a moment. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Hello. Who is this? Thanks a lot for hold. Thanks a lot for holding the line. This is Steve. Hi, so what Steve. do you see on your computer? Hi, Steve. Hello. Yes. Hi, Go Steve. Ahead. You said what do I see on my computer? I see my icons. I'm at my desktop. All right, just look on your keyboard, ma'am. On the left-hand side, extreme bottom corner, do you see there will be a CTRL key? 
It yes, look it. like a control key. That's it. Left hand side bottom corner. Yes, CTRL on your four flag yep, key, and alt key, space key, and then there's Sit, ma what? Ma what? Ma'am, what? What you need to do is that you need to press the four flag windows key. I'm sorry, along I can't hear you. Letter. Can you speak up, sir? Ma'am, ma'am, you have eight. to. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but please yeah. speak up some. I have a hearing aid. Sometimes it goes out. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So, ma'am, you need to do is that you need to press the four flag windows key along with letter R. R as in Robert. Okay. Press the both key at the same time. Press it together. Okay. And what do you see? So, press the four flag key with the letter R. If I press it, yep, it brings up the run box. It says, type the yep, name of program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Is that correct? Yeah, and there will be a and yep, ma'am, it's correct. And there will be an open panel where you can type something, search something. Yeah, I right? see it. Just type over there, www dot, three w and give a dot. Okay, three w's and give a dot. Yep, ma'am. Okay. Then letter S. Then letter S. S as in Sam. Okay. Then U. U as in umbrella. U. Yep, ma'am. Okay. Then P. P as in Peter. Okay. Then R. R as in Romeo. Okay. Then E. E as in Edward. Okay. E as in Edward. Then. Yep, ma'am. Then M. M as in mother. M as in mother. Then O. O as in Oscar. Okay. So you're telling me then www dot supremo s u p r e m o. Is that what you're telling then me? Then control, ma'am. Control. Yep, ma'am. Yep. It's absolutely. Then control. Do not give a space. Control. C o n t r o l dot com. Okay. And confirm me from the beginning. Okay, I know I spell control. So you're telling me www dot supremo s u p r e m o control c o n t r o l dot com. It's absolutely correct, ma'am. You are doing a great job. Now just click on OK. Thank you. Will you be my Valentine today? No, ma'am. Why? Why are you going to be my Valentine? I'm all alone on Valentine's Day. Don't hurt my feelings. What do you see? Don't then what do you see? Will you be my Valentine? I will tell you. Oh. Yep, ma'am. Thank you. You'll be my Valentine. Yay. I feel so much better. I was so depressed today. All right. I, I didn't have anyone to call my Valentine today. All right. Then what do you see? Yeah, I see Supremo control. It tells me, welcome to Supremo. And ma'am, on the top of your computer screen, do you see cookie setting and accept? Okay, it says Supremo remote desktop control made easy and quick. Is easy it? and quick. And right beside, there are two options. One is saying download, one is saying buy. Right? Yeah, which one I click? Just just click on download. You don't have to buy anything. Just click on download. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Can you can you speak up? My hearing aid going out. Ma'am, just click on download. You don't have to buy anything. Just click on download. Click on. Did you say download? Yep, ma'am. Once you click on download, you will see supremo.exe will be downloading on the left hand side, bottom corner of your computer screen. Yeah, it says Supremo for Windows. Yep. It says SP Vista. It says free for private use. Okay, then, you have to cancel the then what options you see? You see a run, save, open. I see run. Just click on run. Okay. Just click on run, ma'am. Click then on run. Then what do you see? Okay. It says welcome to Supremo. And then it says click install. Do and I, what do you see? Do I click install? 
And and any other options like accept? Right now, just says install and cancel. Just click on install. Just click on install, ma'am. Okay, click install. Okay. Then what do you see? Yeah, it's still installing something. It's it's not it's not doing All anything right. right now. Let it become. Let it become, ma'am. Okay. Let it become. I'm sorry. What you said? What do you see? Now what do you see? What box has come up? It's still installing. It got lines going across the Our screen. I'm still waiting for it. All right, ma'am. Okay, the technician didn't use this last time. What's the software? What does it do? Ma'am, this is the software. The software gave you the ID and a password and you need to verify me. Then you are successfully connected to our cancellation department. Then we will going to provide you a form. A form? Okay. All right. Okay. Now what do you see? Right now it just saying specified ID to control a remote computer. The box is blank and it says and connect. And do you see on the bottom accept? No, it just came up with this box saying Supremo, specify the ID to control a remote computer. Box is blank and it says and, connect. And do you see your ID? Your ID number? It's not giving me an ID number. Then what do you see? I just told you. It says Supremo, specify the ID to control a remote computer. There's a box that's blank and then it says connect. And do you see any option? Just says connect. That's the only option is And ma'am look Ma'am look on your left hand side. There will be your ID and a password. There is no ID and password. It just says the box which says specified ID to control remote computer and then it says a box and then there's connect. There is no ID or password. Hello? All right, come back to your previous page, ma'am. What previous page? All right. What previous page? Close each and everything. Get rid of this page. Okay, I'm close each and everything. Now you will be getting a box. What type of box? Did you see? Where you can see your ID. I'm sorry, you cut out, sir. Keyboard, okay. So I'm going on with your microphone, keyboard. sir. You cut okay. out. I can hear what you said. Now, now what do you see? I just see my desktop right now. Now just do one thing, ma'am. Do you see Supremo icon on your all icons? A Supremo icon, a blue color icon? Yeah. Just open that icon. Double left click on that and open that icon. Okay. I'm back at Supremo. Then, then what do you see? It says Supremo specify the ID to control a remote computer. There's a box that's blank and it says connect. Connect. Click on connect. Okay. It says please enter an ID to connect. What do I do? Do you, ma'am? Do you see? On the left hand side of the box, there will be a, your ID and your password. No, it just says uh, ID box and connect. It says specify the ID to control a remote computer. That's all it's telling me. On, and on the left hand side of the box, you don't see connection, contacts? No, it just says Supremo. Specify the ID to control a remote computer. Close that box. Close that box. Okay. Try to clo close that box. Okay, I'm back in my desktop. Why did you back on your desktop? Because when I now closed the box, thing, it goes back to my desktop. You said close it. Hello? Hello? I'm here, ma'am. Now, just what you need to do is that... I can't hear you. 
Can you speak up, sir? Ma'am, just. Sir, can you speak up? Yep, ma'am. Ma'am, just do one thing. Try to go to your Supremo page once again. Double left click on the Supremo icon and open that icon once again. Okay. Okay, it's, it's loaded up. It, it says Supremo. Specify the ID to control remote computer. Asking for an ID in the box. And it says click connect. And ma'am, do you see on the box right hand side there will be an arrow, a rectangle arrow on the box? No. Only thing I see is Supremo. And I see where it says the box to enter something. Asking me to connect. Then it says at the top of the page, it says a, a minus, like a minus icon or something. Ask me to minimize and X to come out of the exit. I don't see anything like that. Minimize it. Okay. Minimize it. Okay. Then what, then what do you see? My desktop. I'm back at my desktop, All my right, icons. Just do one thing. Open your Google Chrome. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm at Google Chrome. Now just on your Google Chrome, there will be a search box where you can type something, search something, right? Yeah. Just search over there. You as an umbrella. You? Yep, ma'am, letter U. You as an umbrella. Yeah. Then L, L as in London. L? Yep, ma'am. Okay. Then T, T as in Tom. What I'm typing this in for? Ma'am, it's ultra viewer. Do you know ultra viewer? No. U L T R A. No, I Just never seen this there, before. I never seen this before. What is this? Is this the same as Supremo? The, yep, ma'am. This is the another software that gives you your ID and password. All oh. right. Okay. Just type. Ultra viewer. U L T R A V I E W E R. Ultra viewer dot net. A V I E W E R. Dot net. Dot net. Right, ma'am. Dot net. N E T. And press on enter. And what do you see? Read from the beginning. Okay, it says it's still loading. It's an ultra viewer. All right. Remote support so easy. Remote control to support your clients, partners from anywhere. Yep, ma'am. Just click on first option. Ultra Viewer Remote Control Software. Remote Access Software. Click on that. Okay. It just says Remote Control Support Software. Ultra Viewer helps yep, you control your partner's computer to support them as if you're sitting in front of their screen. More than 10 million downloads. 100% freeware, very easy to use, remote control to support your partners, online education. Then it's got two options, more info and download. Just just click on download. Just double just click on download. Once you click on download, you see ultraviewersetup.exe will be downloading on the left-hand side of your computer. But can I ask why I can't get a form emailed to me and I feel out that way? Why do I got to go through all this remote control stuff? I thought that was only for technician to use when they're accessing your computer no. to fix the problem. Ma'am, let me explain you. There are some company rules and regulation, ma'am, in order to getting the subscription canceled. All right. But it'd be faster if I just if y'all email it and I fill it out and I send it back in, right? No, ma'am. We cannot send you the form in email. What? There are some company rules. Ma'am, you are doing a great job. Just click on download and once you click on download you will see ultra viewer setup dot exe will be downloading. Yes. All right. Yes. I just, see it. Yeah, just double click on that. It says you Chrome click on that, cannot handle this link. It says file ultra viewer dash setup dash six point two dash en dash esc cannot be downloaded. What's that mean? Ma'am, did you click on download? That's what I did. I clicked on download, and that's what it brought up. That's what I'm telling you. Do you see options like run, 
It brought up Chrome cannot handle this link. File, then a semicolon, then has four slashes, and it says Ultra Viewer dash setup dash six point two dash e n dash e s e. It's asking me to click OK. Just click on OK. OK. And it brought and me back to the desktop. See? I'm back at my desktop. Right now, right. What what I do now? So you come back to your desktop once again? Yes, it brought me back to my desktop as soon as I hit OK. Right. Now you think What do I do? Hold on for a moment, ma'am. I'm transferring this call. Oh, you're transferring the call? Why? Hello? Yes. Okay. Who is this? Um, uh, ma'am, this is Justin Riley. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, but I went through two of your colleagues trying to download something and this is not working. Okay, okay. Okay, I will tell you what you have to do. Can you tell me what can you see in front of your computer screen right now? My desktop. What, what, once you click on download option, then what problem you face? It says, cannot, cannot execute this file. It says, cannot execute this file. Click OK. okay. And did you see any other options? No, it just says click OK. <laughs> okay, madam. Uh, you do one thing, you just go to can you your speak Google up? page, I, okay? My, I have a hearing aid and I can barely hear you, sir. Can you speak up? I'm a little old lady here. Now I can't hear you at all. Can you speak up? Uh, Ma'am, you have to do one thing. You just go to your Google page, okay? Okay. So, Google page. How do I go there? Do you want to go there through Chrome or through Edge? Through Chrome, madam. Chrome? Okay. I'm at Google Chrome. So, you have to type in the search box www. Okay, www. S U P S U P R E M O R E M O C O N C O N T R O L T R O L Give a dot C O M Give a dot C O M Yep, now just press the enter key from your keyboard. We did this already with the last technician. Oh, okay. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, you do, do do it first. Yeah. You just try it. I already did it. I mean, it's on my desktop already. It's already on there. So you just try to open that? Yes. That's, that's what I opened you just with the technician. That's what we was at. And he transferred yeah, me you to you. To, okay, you do one thing. You just try to open it again. Okay? Okay. Let's see what it says. It says, Supremo, specify the ID to control a remote computer. And then it has a box to enter something. And then it has a box that says connect. Okay. So, did you see ID number? No, there's no ID number. It's yeah. asking for one. And did you see options like accept below that? Yeah, when we first downloaded it and installed it on my computer, it said accept. Then it had some bars going no. across it, and then it came up with Supremo. You, you listen to me, madam. You don't have to click anything. You have to just click on accept. You I don't did. have to write anything over there. I did click a step. When I clicked the step, it started downloading it and had bars going across the screen. And it brought me to Supremo and it's asking for an ID. It's asking for ID? Yes, it says type in ID to control a remote computer and then it says click connect. Okay, and 
Beside that, what do you see? That's it. It's, except the minimize button and the exit button. Okay, ma'am, you do one thing. You do do same thing from beginning. You have to download Supremo f from again. How can okay. I download again when it's already installed? That means I have to uninstall and reinstall it? Yeah, just uninstall that and re reinstall it, madam. Wouldn't okay? it just be easier just if y'all just sent me the form in the, in the email and I just fill it out? Wouldn't it be easier? Uh, no, ma'am. This is a lot of work, this sir. Is all yep, ma'am. Because, ma'am, this is online 3D security, ma'am. And after the filling the form, you will get a refund money also. So that's why we need your computer help to do the confirmation that you are a legal person. Okay, madam? But it's not working this way. What y'all tell me is not working. Wouldn't it be easier just okay. to email it? No, ma'am. We can't email you, madam. Okay, what well, can you mail it then? Do snail mail. I know people still get snail mail. I do too. We can't do that, madam. I just Why? told you. Okay. We have to do it through the online, through your computer. We have to first connect your computer to my cancellation department, madam. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask a question. If we finally get this working, how long would it take me to get my refund? It will take 15 to 20 minutes to get your refund money back. Okay. Can I ask a question? How come y'all can't just refund the money back into my card? I used a Visa card last time. Just put it back in there. Yep, ma'am. We will back it, your money there. But first, you have to fill the form, madam. But don't y'all okay. have my details already? Y'all should have my name and everything else. You didn't even ask we my have, name. We, we have your all details, madam. But according to the terms and conditions for verification, you have to just fill it out. Okay? You have to just understand, madam. Why? I mean, so I mean you, if y'all, I'm a previous customer. Time. I'm a previous customer. Y'all got my information. Just send it there. Or refund it yes, back to we, my we credit card. That. We know that, but You do one thing, you just try to do I am it doing, one I'm more doing time. everything. I'm doing everything y'all telling me. Every single thing. And it's not working. Do you have a Yahoo browser? Yahoo browser? That's a website. I ain't know Yahoo had a browser. Okay, like uh, which browser you have? I have Chrome. I have Opera. Edge. Firefox. I mean, I you do one thing. You just you I just open your Firefox. Okay. I'm there. And type in Firefox www.supremocontrol.com. Same thing. Okay. Let me do it. One second. Okay. Supremocontrol.com. Okay. It says it. Supremo. Then says remote desktop control made easy and quick. That's what's in the, the search engine. Click on that. Click on that. Okay. And do you see options like allow cookie settings, accept? It just says Supremo remote desktop control made easy and quick. Download by. Then it says find out Click which connections you can get. Click on download. Okay. And do you see in the bottom of your computer screen, Supremo.exe is downloading? Yes, it says download or buy. It's asking me to click. Click on download. Okay. It says, it says already installed on this computer. Madam, actually, we it's already installed. It's asked me to. It's asked me to close that. It's already installed on my computer. Yeah, just install one more time. How can I install when it's already installed? It's asking me to uninstall first. It's already installed on my computer. Okay, so you have to uninstall first, madam. I just told you at beginning. Okay. You have to just. Well, how do I uninstall the first one then? 
You don't know how to do that? I don't uninstall things a lot. It's been a while since I uninstalled something. You spoke with your technician. How do I uninstall it? Okay, can you tell me in bottom of your computer screen, in very bottom, uh, do you see a blue color rectangle icon? No. You don't see there? No, all I see is the Windows button, then it says type here to search, then it's showing Cortana, then it's showing Edge, File Explorer, then it's showing Suprema at the bottom of my desktop on the taskbar, then it's showing my time, okay, just don't date, that. then it's just showing my email, then it's showing Steam, and then it's showing my microphone, then it's showing my webcam. So what do you want me just to open. what do you want me to open? Just open your Supremo, which oh. is you saw in your tax bar, okay? Oh say okay, so do you want me to click OK on the box that says already installed Supremo? Do you want me to click OK on that because it's still on my desktop? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, click on OK. Okay. Now I'm back in my desktop. And it's still got Supremo on in the icon. Okay. So what do I do? So, what do you see? Did you see your ID number in your icon? No, I'm back at my desktop. So you, so you have to just uh, open your Supremo icon in your desktop. Yeah, that's what that's what's on the desktop. <laughs> yeah, just give a double click on that. Okay. Okay, it says Supremo, then it says specify the ID to control the remote computer, then it has a blank box, then it has connect. This is what I've been saying for the past almost 30 minutes. So what to do? Uh, Ma'am, did, did you see in your Supremo, in your bottom corner, did you see there is an option like connection? No. In upper side of your Supremo? It, it just got the minimize button and the exit button, which is the X. There's nothing else on this box. So did you see options like connection or contact? No. It just got Supremo. And then it got that message, got the box, and then it has connect. That's it. Then it asked me to minimize or exit. That's all. Okay, ma'am. You do one thing. You restart your computer, madam. Well, I got to restart my computer for. <laughs> Why? You have to just... You don't want to restart? If I restart my computer, I got to start everything back up again. That's a lot of hard work, sir. Okay, ma'am. You do one thing. You just go to your Mozilla browser again and type there ultraweaver.net. Ultraweaver? First go you to your Mozilla. Yeah. Okay, so U L T R A B I E B E R dot com. Is that what you're telling me? U L T R A V I E W E R. Ultra Beaver. Oh, Ultra Beaver. I thought you said Ultra Beaver. Okay, I'm sorry. You sound like you said Beaver. I thought you were talking about Justin Bieber. It sounded like you said Justin Bieber. I'm about to say something. I'm like, why you say Usher Bieber for? <laughs> Usher Viewer. Okay, Usher Viewer. I told you I have a hearing aid in my ear, sir. So some things just don't come through correctly and clearly. I'm sorry. So what can you see? Did you click on Enter Key from your keyboard? Yeah, it says Ultra Viewer, Remote Control Support Software. Then it has that message talking about the 10 million downloads. Then it says more info so, and download. So you, you have to just click on green clear box which says download. Okay. I hit download. It says ultra viewer. Then it has dash setup dash two dash en dash ese. Yeah. 
Just uh, open that. It says downloading. Yeah, okay, it's downloading. It got a circle going around and it says downloading 1.4 megabytes out of 2.8 megabytes. Okay, let, let it be completed, madam. Okay. Okay, it says open. Open that. Okay. As soon as I hit open, it says Chrome cannot handle this link. Why keep going into and Chrome for? It's going to be Firefox, right? What options do you see, madam? Why is you it still breaking up in Chrome when I put it in Firefox? Why is it downloading in Chrome again? You are in your Chrome again? No, it brought it up in Chrome. I'm in Firefox. It will be happening, madam. So you just tell me, uh, did you open up your Ultra Weaver? Yeah, Ultra Weaver. Did you open that, madam? Yeah, it says Chrome cannot handle this link. Ultra Viewer, and then it says dash setup dash 6.2 dash en dash exe. Then it says hit OK. Click on OK. OK. And it brought me back to the desktop. I'm back at my okay, desktop. You just, okay, so you just close all that thing and you just go to your desktop. That's And you at. just check it. So you do you see there is a Ultra Weaver? Yeah, I see Ultra Weaver. I see Ultra Weaver icon. So, so open that icon, madam. Okay. And it's still saying Chrome cannot handle this link. And then it says Ultra Viewer dash setup dash six point two dash en dash esc. And then it says okay. It's still trying to open up in Chrome. So you just open it in your Chrome, madam. But every time I hit OK, it won't open up. It just takes me back to the desktop. OK, madam, just wait. OK. Hello? Yeah? Hello? Uh, ma'am, you do one thing. You just go to your Google page again, OK? OK. And you have to just type there another web address. Okay, what web address? www dot Okay, www dot A-N-Y A-N-Y B as in doctor B as in doctor E as in English E as in English S as in sugar S as in sugar K as in kilo. K as in kite. Give a dot C O M. Give a dot C O M. Okay. What is any And I'm, uh, ma'am, this is a remote support software, madam. Remote desktop software. Okay. So just like Supremo and Ultra Beaver. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Wait a so just search for that, madam, and what you see, just read it. It just says any desk. And then it says remote desktop software. Anywhere, anytime, any yeah. desk. Yeah, just click on that first option, madam. Remote support desktop. Okay. It took me to anydesk.com. Then it says remote desktop software. Then it has free download and buy now. Click on free download. Okay. It says loading. Okay. And you see in the bottom of your computer screen, left hand side. Yeah. And any dex dot exe is downloaded, right? Yeah, I see any dex. Open that. Okay. And it says, any, any dex, then it says your address, then it says remote address, and then it says connect. Okay, you tell me uh, your address. Okay, it says 9, 5, 6, 
11 to 8, 1, 9, 5, 4, 11 to 7. Ma'am? Yeah? Uh, tell, tell me the ID number again, madam. 956? Yes, 11 to 8, 1, 9, 11, after 11? 11 to 8. So what do you want? After two eight? No, eleven to eight. So nine five six eleven to eight one nine five four eleven to seven. All right. I will need to help you out if you want to. One nine. What? Ma'am, tell me one thing. Uh, tell me the ID number again, madam. Okay. Nine five six. It sounds like you need to hear an name more than I do. Nine five six. Eleven to eight. One nine five four eleven to seven. Hello. Did you get it? Uh, ma'am. Uh, can you tell me, uh, can you read the, uh, read the page again, madam? Read that page. Any dates? Yeah. Yeah. And do you see options like this dates? Do you see? What? You just read, read that page, madam. Read yeah. that any dates box. It said your address, got a number, remote address, and then connect. It's saying your address? Yes. And do you see your number? Yeah. That's the number I gave you. Tell me, tell me the number. Nine, five, six, eleven, to eight, oh, nine. Five, four, eleven to seven. Okay, and below that, what you have? Remote address. Below that, you have remote address. Yeah, then it says connect. Then it says connect. Okay, madam, just wait. Okay. Did you get the address, though? You didn't confirm that you got that address, though. You kept asking me to repeat. Yep. So I want to make sure. Can you tell me what you got? You must, uh, ma'am, you do one thing. You repeat the address from beginning and slowly, slowly. Do you need, you sound like you need the hearing aid. I thought it was me. Nine, five, nine, six, five. eleven to eight, one, nine, five, four, eleven to seven. Okay, ma'am, just wait, let me check. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been showing that it's two years ago. And today is also the day of this offer subscription. So if you want to cancel this, we are going to refund your money as well. And your background is very loud, sir. Could you tell uh, the yes, representative to, to to lower her voice so I can hear you? Okay, ma'am. Did you get the address? Yep, ma'am. We are checking the address, okay? Okay. <coughs> ma'am, you do one thing. You just close all that, all that thing and you go to your home screen. Go to your normal desktop, Wait, okay? Wait, what happened? What, did you get the any dad's address? Um, uh, no, ma'am. Still, we can't find it, madam. We can't match it. So that's why I'm saying you, you got, just go to your normal desktop, and from there you will see uh, any new icons, any desk. Yeah. So you have to tell me. You just go there. I see. Go it. to your normal desktop. Yeah, I'm in my desktop now. O open your any desk. Okay, I'm opening any decks. Okay. And it brought back up any decks, and it says your address, remote address, and then there's a, a box, and then it says connect. Okay, can you tell me the remote address, madam? Yeah, it's the same thing. Nine, five, 
six eleven to ma'am, eight ma'am. one nine. Ma'am, listen, madam. What? Ma'am, you have to just care the address, care the number, check it the number properly, madam, because the early dex address will be only for nine digits. That's it. It is nine digits. That's what I'm telling you. Nine, five, nine six, eleven to eight, one nine, five, four, eleven to seven. Okay, just wait, madam. Okay. Hello? Yeah? Who is this? Yeah. Oh, uh, hi. This is Robbie, and I'm the senior manager. Okay. How are this you? Is, okay, I'm doing, I'm doing okay, but y'all got to stop passing me around. You the fourth person I done talked to. I've been doing it now for almost 45 minutes. Why is it taking All right. so long? Listen, Ma'am, the reason why it's taking long because we cannot get you connected right now. Once you get connected, we will tell you what you have to exactly do. Wouldn't it be okay? easier if y'all just send the form through email or through mail? Y'all also got my credit card information already. All y'all have to do is just be right. a person back into my credit card. Okay, okay, listen, listen to me, all right? I'm listening. Let's, let's do this. Tell me, tell me, what do you see right now on your computer screen? I'm looking at any decks right now. On the left hand side, do you see it saying this desk? Your desk can be accessed with this address. No. Do you see that there? No, it just says what do you user see? interface language quality. Then it says show remote cursor about any desk. Then it says app tutorial. And then it says tutorial on any decks. Your address, remote address, and connect. That's all. That's all? Yes. Oh, okay. You do one thing. Just close this page and go back to your normal desktop icon. Okay. Okay. I'm there. Now. Can you read it one by one, all the icons? That would take a whole damn hour if I read all my icons. Do you know how many programs I got installed on this computer, sir? I use the computer for my home, personal use, and my work. If I did that, we would be on here even longer. Do you think I want to be on here okay. another hour? Okay. okay, let's do one thing. Let's do this. I'm a little could lady here. Me? I could have to pee in a few. Okay. All right, all right. You do one thing. Can you tell me, apart from this computer, you have any other computer? No, just this one. Just this one. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to transfer this call to the technician. Who gonna get you connected right away? So that be the just fifth. That's the fifth computer. person then. Why y'all be transferred? You be the fifth because person I've been talked to in this past hour. Why? Hello. All right. All right. We because have a failure to communicate right. here. I understand because I have trouble. I have trouble understanding you, ma'am. So I'm putting you back to him. He's going to help you. Just restart your computer once. Okay? I got to restart, restart my computer. Right. Yes. What? Why well, I got to restart my computer for? It's obviously something going on with the program y'all asked me to download here. Why I got three star my computer for? Because your computer is not responding. That's why you need to restart your computer. If it was not okay? responding, you just then I wouldn't have been able to bring up the icons then. I wouldn't be able to get all this information for y'all. If my computer was you not just, responding. You just grade up you just get rid of all the pages, okay? Just close all the pages. All just pages exit are from all the pages. Everything is closed except any okay. Now you just also restart your computer, okay? You restart your computer. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to get to be 90 before I get off this phone call. I'm 65 years old. Y'all you just, make me 90. You just once restart your computer, then everything will be taken care of, okay? <sighs> your computer you is so. not responding properly. That's why. If you say so. Yeah, it will be done. You just restart your computer and let me know. It's restarting. Okay. Show my Windows icon. 
Okay. Once you are on the home page, let me know. Okay. Is the assassin for my ID? You are back on your desktop? Yeah, my icons are low now. Okay. Now, you need to read the icons one by one that you are having on your home screen, okay? It will be an hour if I do that. I have a lot of icons on my screen, sir. So, you just read out the basic icons like the internet browser and the new icons that you are having on your computer, okay? It's 60 of them. I have 60 programs okay, on my icon, on my screen right now. That's how many okay, programs. You tell me that. Do you have an Internet Explorer? Yeah, it's called Microsoft Edge. Then we will run your Okay. And do you have a Supremo on your home screen? Yeah. Alright. So you just open that Supremo? Okay. Back to where we was at before. So for that, okay. What does it say? Read out from the beginning. It says Supremo specified ID to control a remote computer. Then it has a blank box. Okay. And then it says connect. Okay. Now on the left hand side, do you see your ID and password? No. Can you see your password? No. Only thing is showing is what I told you. Okay. Okay. You just hold on for five seconds, it will be coming up. You just hold on for five seconds. Okay. So you yeah. Are you having a computer? Nothing has came up. Okay, not a problem. You just exit out. Just close that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now what? Now, do you have an Ultra Beaver icon on your home screen? Yeah, I have Ultra Beaver. No. Just open that. Okay. It says Chrome cannot extend to this file. Then it says Ultra Beaver dash 2 dash EN dash 28 dash EXE. Then it says OK. Okay, give a click on OK. Okay. Laptop. And it back to the desktop. Laptop. Okay, now do you see any Ultra Weaver icon on your desktop? Yes, yes. Not anymore. Okay. Now do you see any, any desk icon on the ho desktop? Yeah. A blue color icon saying any desk? Yeah. Open that. Okay. And it says any decks, and then it says your address, remote address, then it has a blank yes, box, and then it has connect. So that's okay, now do you see on the left hand side this desk? Your desk can be accessed with this address? No. Okay, then read out the whole thing on the left hand side. What do you see? It just says any at the left -hand decks, side. then it has your address. Then it has a blank box with remote address. Then it says connect. Then at the top, it has a minimize button and an exit button. That's all. Okay. Now you do, you do tell me your address. You can see your address over there. Yeah. You just tell me that address. 956 if you sit in front of your desktop, then I'll okay. on your Okay. Now you do one thing. Mm -hmm. Just exit out. Close that one. Why exit I got out from there. For? I Did you get the what? address? Come again. Why I got the exit out? Right. You just asked me for the address. Did you get it? Yeah, you just exit. No, no. You just get exit out. Okay. It's not working. It's not working. Why is it not working? Because of your computer, okay? Your computer is not performing. It's not performing better. That's why. Um, I was I was fine before I called y'all. It was working fine before. Ain't nothing wrong. I'm able to to get to web pages and we able to download stuff. So it's not going. Some going on my computer. What's some going on with y'all programs? 
you are on the home page now yeah. you are on the desktop page uh -huh. okay you do one thing press the four flag windows button along with the letter r r as in robert press it together at the same time okay now what do you see it says, Let me know. it's the run box. Type the name of a program, okay. folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows open it for you. Okay, now, do you see the white panel box over there? Is yeah. that white panel box empty, or is something written over there? It's empty. It's empty? Yeah. Okay, so on the white panel box, you just type I. I as in Liana. Mm-hmm. E as in English. I E X as an X ray X P as in Pennsylvania P L as in London L O as in Oscar O R as in Robert R I used to know a Robert E You maybe thought about it. I used to know a Robert. Hmm. Okay, okay. Then E E as in English E Okay, what's this? Now you just tell me what you have typed over there. I explore, but what is this? Okay, now you just give us space for one time. Just give us space for one time. Okay. Now you type U, U as an umbrella. Yeah. L as in Lima. L. T as in Tom. T. R as in Robert. R. A as an apple. A. V as in Victoria. V. I as an Iliana. I. E as an echo. E. W as in whiskey. W. Then E as an echo. E. Then R. R as in robot. Okay, R as in robot. Okay, so this is Ultra Viewer again. Yeah, now give a dot. Give a dot. Then N A T net. N, N as a Nancy, E as an Yeah. N E T. What's okay. this? It's ultra viewer dot net, right? Yeah. Okay, now just hit on enter from your keyboard. Wait, did you say N A T or N E T? N E T N as a Nancy E as an Echo T as in Tom. Okay. It sure sounds like you said N A T. No, no, it's N E T N as a Nancy E as an Echo T as in Tom. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, hit on Enter from your keyboard. Okay. Then what you see? Let me know. It brought up Ultra Viewer and it says Remote Control Support Software. Then it says more info and download. Give a click on download, the green color box. Okay. Now, do you see Ultra Weaver setup.exe getting downloaded at it the says, bottom of the screen? It left says, hand side. Do you want to run or save Ultra Weaver dash setup dash six point two dash e n dash e s c? From dlus 3ultrabeavernet Give a click on run. Run? Yeah, give a click on run. Okay. It said, do you want to then allow I'll this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. Okay. And it says, set up to install Ultra Beaver into the following folder. See, it didn't bring this up last time. What happened? You just give a click on next. You see an option saying next? Yeah, I see an option that says next. Just give a click on next. Okay, it says select start menu folder. Do you see option saying next? Yes. Give a click on that. Okay, it says select additional tasks. Select the additional tasks you then would I'll like set up to perform while installing Ultra Beaver, then click next. Give a click on next. Okay. It said, do you want to create a desktop shortcut? Do you see any option saying install? Yeah, well, it says back, next, and cancel. Do you see an option saying install? No. 
It just says back. What do you see? Next, cancel. Give a click on next. Okay. And then it says ready to install. Give a click on install. Okay. It says registering controls. Okay. Do you see it's installing? It says completing the Ultra Bieber setup wizard. Setup has finished installing Ultra Bieber on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the install shortcuts. Click finish to exit the setup. Now you just give a click on finish. Okay. Now what do you see? Let me know. It said Ultra Bieber 6.2 dash free. Allow remote control. Control remote computer. Do you see your ID and the password over there? Yes. Just tell me that. It's 2-11-9-11-4-8-2-11-6-2-2. And what is the password? 11-6-9-4-6. <laughs> Come again. Eleven to six nine four six. Tell me the ID and the password once again. What's going on? You you need a hearing aid or something? Why I got to keep repeating myself? You just because it's having some error. That's why you need to tell me again. Just tell me your ID and the password for one more time. Two eleven to nine. 11-4-8-2-11-6-2-2 Passwords 11-6-9-4-6 Yeah Yeah what? You cut out What you say sir? Hold Hold on, hold on. Just hold on. Okay. Did you get it? Okay, ma'am. Hello. Yes. You just see your ID will be of nine digits. You can see that? Yes, that was nine digits. Okay. Okay, then tell me again. Two eleven to nine, eleven to four, eight two, eleven to six, two two. Password is eleven to six nine four six. Thank you for calling cancellation department of Renault. This is Steve. How can I help you? Did you get it? Not yet. Your ID is saying wrong. You know why I'm saying wrong? You are telling me. Because you a motherfucking piece of shit scammer. <laughs> I done played y'all motherfuckers for sister for me. <laughs> Hello? Hey, piece of shit. How you like playing with me for an hour and four minutes? Y'all some piece of shit, stupid scammers. Go on somewhere and fuck off. <laughs> Y'all didn't like the 11 to 7. <laughs>